Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 1221, where we have 50 moves to clear out 22 jelly and reach 44,000 points. And so we really need to hack through all of this frosting, and we have to contend with the threat of the chocolate as it spawns. So let's look at the best opportunity for us to make a move. Unfortunately, I see no move down here to make, and the only move I see here doesn't even touch the frosting. What that tells me is there's going to be a little bit of luck required on this board. If we only have one move to make, then we don't really have the opportunity to employ any significant strategy. So we just go with what we've got available. Again, nothing here to attack the frosting, only one here. Sure, I'm getting out that jelly, but really what I want to do is attack the frosting first, so it's not my first choice. And now, I don't care, the chocolate's going to consume all of the candy that's here. It doesn't matter to me. I need to break through this frosting. That's my only motivation right now. I'm not going to sit there and play tug of war with the chocolate when I know it's going to consume everything. Instead, I'm just going to wait until I can attack it with more forces by breaking through all of this. So notice, I'm trying to hit... The frosting that's the weakest, so it's gone completely because where there's no frosting, that means there's then a candy, more opportunity for matches and specials. Uh, and then also, well, here I'm going to go ahead and do this striped candy because it'll go through all of the layers of frosting here. Uh, but then, of course, I'm also going for anything that touches as much frosting as possible. So the specials, and then the three buys that I can lay right down on the bottom here. Let's hope for some more cascading. Cascading is always good on a level like this. Yuck. And then I get back to not much at all here. Here I can take out a frosting. So it was slightly better than this. And again, yuck. I can't make a special there. <sighs> now, once we can punch through, this will start to populate, and now we'll really see our opportunities increase. So now I can make moves down here, and not only can I make moves, but they're touching the frosting and they're creating some specials. And they're taking out the chocolate, which I'm not, again, going to worry too much until I've amassed a great force behind my moves. I'm not going to try to take out itty bitty bits of chocolate. But when I have a move like this that's significant, that not only removes the chocolate, but also gets over here, that's what I'm going to go for. Now that I've gotten pretty far along, I'm going to tell you my next point of my strategy. And I'm developing the strategy as I go, because as you can see, I'm collecting sugar drops. That means this is my first playthrough. Um, my next strategy is to make sure I try to take out everything directly around these chocolate spawners. The reason is, once they get covered in chocolate, it's really difficult to see what's there and what isn't. And so now I know there's no... Uh, jelly around here. If the chocolate consumes on this side, I don't have to worry about it immediately. Ooh, this will be a nice matchup. Oh, no, it's not. But we still got some work done. But see, now I still have to get rid of this because if the chocolate consumes over here, it covers the jelly, and I have to take out the chocolate before I can take out the jelly. It's kind of a, uh, yeah, see? It's a process we have to keep going through until we can get all of that jelly removed. Now, I have six moves left, but I only have one jelly. There's no jelly trapped under this frosting, as I can see now. It's just this, so that's the only one I'm going for. I'm going to look for a, a direct strike on here or a ranged attack if I can manage it. So either an aerial attack or a side attack. Uh, looking for the options. Here we go. We're going for a ranged attack. It's a far-ranging attack. I'm going to get the purple this way. So that's how I beat level 1221, paying attention to the board, uh, looking for opportunities to um, take out the frosting first, and once I've cleared a path, then taking out the jelly and playing cleanup. If you want to see more videos, you can subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.